Now the Bible verse of the day was Isaiah 53 verse 6, the A, the first part, that said, We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. Now the teacher at the, ch the children repeated so many times that they, re had to, they had to repeat it over and over and over. And finally confident that the, the children knew this verse, the teacher went on to other things uh, in his lesson. And then the following week came and the teacher asked the children if they could repeat the verse. And, and one of the children uh, put up his hand and he said, Isaiah 53 verse 6, We all, like sheep, have gone to Australia. Did the child really understand the verse? Did he, did he knew how to apply this verse that he learned the previous week to his, to his life? No. So how is the right way to, to teach the children verses? And, and how do we teach it to them so that they can apply it to their lives? The first thing we need to ask ourselves is, why is it important to teach children verses from the Bible? Why is it important? Well, the, the first reason is, is because God, God commands us to teach His Word to our children. In Deuteronomy 6, verses 6 and 7, it says, These words which I am commanding you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them, you shall teach them, diligently to your sons and shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise up. You will teach the children in the mornings, in the evenings, during the day. You will teach them and show them how to apply God's word to their lives. As one person said, in this changing world, we need something to which we may cling, something which is sure and steadfast, something which never changes. What could be better than the sure word of God? So many things change in this world. Things that they previously thought that was the truth in science has now been shown that it is wrong uh, and the, their theories have changed. So many things change in this world. But we need something, a foundation to hold on. Something that will never change. Something that is the truth. And God's word is the truth. And God commanded us, let us teach the children His truth. Now, secondly, we must remember that the Holy Spirit will use the Word of God that, was, that has been hidden in the heart of the child to do the following. Because the Holy Spirit inspired the, the, the Bible writers. The Word of God was breathed out through these Bible writers. So the Holy Spirit will use it and it will change the, ch the child's life and change the, their thinking. Because the Holy Spirit will, will remind maybe a child that, that, that he must, must be born again, that he must be born new. Like if a child learned 1 Peter um, 1 verse 23, let me read it for us, 1 Peter 1. Verse 23. For you have been born again, not of seed which is perishable, but imperishable, that is, through the living and enduring word of God. For you have been born again. You have been changed from the inside out. You are a new person. You're not a child of, God, uh, of Satan anymore. You're not in his in his kingdom but you're now in a, you're a child of God and the, the child will maybe realize but but he must be born again 
He, he must confess his sins. He must be born again. He must be changed for new. He must have new desires. He must start loving the word of God. He must love Jesus Christ. And, and, and the Holy Spirit will use verses like 1 Peter uh, 1 verse 23 to convict the child. But he must be saved. He must be born again. Then the, the Holy Spirit can, can use a, a verse like Psalm 119 verse 9. A well known verse in the Bible. Psalm 119 verse 9. How can a young man keep his way pure? By keeping it according to your word because as the the, the child then that knows Jesus Christ uh, then he, the Holy Spirit can use a verse like this to remind him uh, when he asks now how shall I live then how shall I live in this world this this changing world how shall I live how shall I live in a way that I know that I will be uh, blessed uh, but it will be the best for me. Then he can, the Holy Spirit can use this word to remind the child that he must keep it by the, the word of God. How can a young man keep his way pure? By keeping it according to your word. Because your word is steadfast. Your word is a guide for us in this changing world. And then also the, the, a child can, can as the, the Holy Spirit, can use a, a verse like 1 Peter 3 verse 15. 1 Peter 3 verse 15 in his life that says, But sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts, always being ready to make a defense to everyone who asks you to give an account for the hope that is in you yet with gentleness and reverence. Always being ready to make a defense. Always being made a, a, a ready to make a defense to everyone who asks you. That the, the Holy Spirit can then remind this child that knows Jesus Christ, but he must also be a witness that he must be, he must be ready to make a defense to everyone. He must tell them, why do I believe this? Why do I believe that the Bible is the word of God, my authority? Why do I believe that Jesus Christ is my authority, that he is who he is, he said, and did what he said he, 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 he did? Why is it I must give my defense, I must be a witness and the Holy Spirit will help us. He will give us the strength. He will give us the wisdom. He will give us the insight. And then the Holy Spirit can also use word, the verses uh, that the, the child were taught in, in, in the Good News Club. Because it is a Good News Club. Or Jesus, what God did for us. By reminding him maybe of Isaiah 26 verse 3. The steadfast of mind you will keep in perfect peace. Because he trusts in you. The, the Holy Spirit can use a verse like this for, for a troubled heart to give it comfort. To know that, that the child is in God's hand. The child can know but but. God is with me. He said he will never leave me. He will never forsake me. That it will give him a child comfort in a troubled heart. Isaiah 26 verse 3. The steadfast of mind you will keep in perfect peace. God said he will give us his peace. Because... He trusts in you because this child trusts in Jesus and God gave a promise then I will give you also my peace that surpasses all understanding 
can a child can dream be reminded in uh, like a verse like Matthew 22 from verse uh, verse 29 that says these words but Jesus answered and said to them you are mistaken not understanding the scriptures nor the power of God you are mistaken not understanding the scriptures nor the power of God the Holy Spirit can use this so that the child can can as he listen to people it can understand but there's there's something wrong there's something wrong in what they they are are teaching me the the, the holy spirit can use verses to, to almost to expose wrong doctrine so we need also to teach the children on doctrine so that they can discern what is right and what is wrong and lastly the Holy Spirit can also use a verse like Psalm 119 verse 171 that says let my lips utter praise for you teach me your statutes let my lips utter praise so verses like these can can remind the child the Holy Spirit can use it to help him to praise God for what he has done but not just for what Jesus has done but what he has taught them because he's renewing them he's making them new he's bringing out the best in them so there's a lot of things to praise and the Holy Spirit can use these verses so that's why we must teach the children verses because the Holy Spirit can use these verses in their lives on the right time in God's timing in God's plan for this child